Hi guys, in this video we will learn about different ways to iterate over a vector in reverse order. Let's start with the first approach. That's using indexing. So what we will do, we will use the for loop. And suppose the vector size is n. That means there are n elements in the vector. Then we will iterate over the vector from index position n minus 1 to 0. So like iterate our index positions yeah, n minus 1 to 0. How we will do that? We will say int i equals to num vector and then size minus 1. So we will start from size minus 1 and then we will perform it until unless i is greater than or equal to 0 and then for after the each instance of iteration, we will subtract the i value. Now inside the iteration, now inside the for loop, we can perform any operation on the vector. Suppose printing the vector or calculating the sum of the elements in the vector, any other thing. So here we will just print the element. So, and then we will separate out each element with a comma. And so we so we need to access the element using the index position. So now if we try to execute this code. So it iterated over all the elements in the vector in reverse order and performed the operation on each of the element and operation was in our case the printing only so it printed all the elements in a vector in reverse order so this is the first approach using indexing the benefit of this approach is that we have the index position 2 like here we can say at index i so if we execute this code now so here we what we are doing we are iterating over all the elements in the reverse order and printing the elements value and also the index position so here we it printed all the elements in the reverse order along with the index so this was the first approach the second approach is using the reverse iterators so vector provides a function r begin r begin which returns a reverse iterator pointing to the end of the vector now reverse iterator is a kind of iterator that moves in the backward direction or if you perform an increment operation on the reverse iterator it will move in the backward for example here we will assign the value return by r begin to a variable so r begin return the reverse side iterator so r began return the reverse side iterator and we assigned it to variable uh, it so reverse side iterator moves in backward direction so as of now it is pointing to the last element of the vector that is 9 so if we do it plus plus it will start pointing to the second last element because reverse side iterator moves in backward direction so what we will do we will use a while loop and move the iterator till it reaches the start of the vector so how do we do that we will check the vector iterator value is not equal to r end so what does r end do r end returns and reverse iterator that points to the start of the vector and then we can print the element in the while loop So inside the file loop we printed each element of the vector and then we incremented the iterator so that it points to the next element but as it's a reverse iterator so we will so it will iterate in the reverse direction now let's try to compile this program and if we execute this now it should display all the elements of the vector in reverse order
so it printed all the elements in backward direction okay so now this was the second approach third one is like if you want to do all these operations in a single line well then we can use the same reverse iterator using an st and an stl algorithm for each so what we will do let's first include the file algorithm in the for each function we will pass the r that reverse iterator pointing to the end of the vector and there is a second argument we will pass the reverse iterator pointing to the start of the vector and as a third argument we can pass a lambda function and inside the lambda function we need to pass the each element so we can pass auto uh, ampersand elements so it will accept lambda function will accept an element as a reference so inside the lambda function we can inside the lambda function we can just print the element separate out by comma so let's format the code and this is the third argument so let's move it here so for each will iterate over the iterator range provided in the first two arguments and for on each argument it will apply the past lambda function inside the lambda function we are just printing the element so if we execute this example because we are passing the reverse iterators to the for each so it will iterate over the range in the backward direction okay it's showing some error we forgot the semicolon now let's clear the console and try to execute it again so it printed all the elements in the vector in reverse order so these were the three different ways to iterate over a vector in reverse order first one was using the indexing second was using the iterators and third one using the for each algorithm and the reverse iterators thanks for watching and do subscribe our channel for more videos like this